Back here, I'm joined by Bryony Frost, who, of course, is dreaming of winning the Cheltenham Gold Cup on Froden. Except you can't, can you, Bryony? Because the horse should be in the right air, shouldn't he? <laughs> oh, we're going to go off on the same, same broken records. Um, nah, look, no, definitely take our chance this year. We're staying a lot stronger than we ever have. He's proven that this year, especially off top weights as well. Um, Kempton, arguably, is not our way around yet. He did win Cosley. And, oh, of course, it's this deep race, isn't it? It's the Gold Cup. You're never going to be expected to be handed anything in that. But uh, he's A1 at home. He's looking brilliant. Holly, who rides him every day, is chuffed to bits. He's been doing a bit of... Um, a bit of swimming as well they go off a few of them now and doing a bit of the water treadmills and that so he loves that as a day out too so no it's all, all going well at the moment at the end of the day joking apart and all that he is now the king george winner going into the gold cup therefore he does <laughs> deserve to take his chance even though some of us feel that his stamina might just ebb out he deserves to be there oh yeah and, and of course uh, you know native river he's um obviously um, back to his impressive ways and he's admirable like that but uh, so that's going to be a, a scrap that uh, is going to be an interesting one um, and when we come down to tactics and thinking about options we'll we'll start to make plan a b and c so we we have you know we have options out there it's not we're not just set in stone what we have to do um, and I think uh, you, you know and he has won by different ways as well so and it's stupid to make a plan particularly with native river because we've seen him in gold cups he, he he can take two or three fences to get to the front. He can be slow from the tape to the first fence, etc. Um, and he also probably needs bottomless ground realistically these days. So there are, there are things that will, will be against him as well, possibly come the day. And, and the thing with your boy, as Nichols has already said, he doesn't have to lead, does he? He could sit second. Third. Yeah, no, is that, yeah, no. I mean, look, we've all got chinks in our armour, and we're all quite transparent at this point of their careers. You know, these horses aren't aren't young horses that are still figuring their way. We've we've shown what works and what doesn't work out there, and, and all of us have. So, you know, it's 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 no hiding tactics out there, um, and that's why normally it's it's a it's a gruel and it's a test, and and bravest horses come up that hill. You were against um, Native River on Yala Enki, of course, who another terrific old <laughs> horse that, that, that you ride and get such a great tune out of. Did, did it ride like, you know, a proper race? As in, do, do you think Bristol de May and Native River did run to form? Oh, it, you know, we didn't hang about, especially on that ground. Um, and that was, that was our, our tactics because we know we have stammer in abundance. Um, but they were just a little, little bit better than us, really. And that, that's probably just what, what was there. Um, but Native River, you know, especially when he started to, to put pressure on us down the back with his jumping as well, that just found us out. But no, it did ride a good race, especially on that ground because it was getting tackier in the day and, and it was hard work. And, and you'll have you probably dreamt of winning the King George. Maybe you didn't quite, because you probably might not have thought it could actually happen. But do you, do you dream a little bit of, of winning the Gold Cup? Because while I know you might not be talking quite as much as you used to, or quite as flamboyantly, I, I know you well enough to, that in the back <laughs> of your mind, you're thinking, crikey. Brandy Frost, Gold Cup winner. Oh, look, I mean, we, we uh, it's, for a jockey, it's actually still quite a long way away. March is still a long way away. Anything can happen between oh, come here on, and there. Oh, come on, this is just waffle. No, you, it's not. You, I'm you, telling you, you got to, you've got to be realistic and you've got to think of every day as it comes. We've still got big races You're to ride in between. You're dreaming of winning the Gold Cup. And, uh, but we, uh, I imagine different scenarios. That's what I do. That's my head. You know, I'm never quite uh, one for, for setting goals because I think if you give yourself a ceiling, then uh, you can only go so far, so, yeah. We'll just watch Morley Street or Forest Sun <laughs> or the Grand National, the old man the night before, and prep yourself, gear yourself up. We wish you well. Good luck, Brian. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Cheers.